Hello, welcome to another Somerset Real Ale review. Um, today's beer is uh, from the Shepherd Neen Brewery. Um, now I had their um, Spitfire uh, not so long ago, and uh, I, I was—I I think I confused the yeast with it being um, being uh, um, skunked. So I, think I'm, I bought another no, another Shepherd Neen beer. It's the Tapping the Admiral. Um, really like the look of this beer, and I can always remember liking Shepherd Neen's uh, beers anyway. So. Uh, let's pop it open. Oh, by the way, it's pouring down today. Um, well, it's just started raining. I think we're having a bit of storms every afternoon uh, this week, which is nice. Um, sorry, it's, it's in a clear glass 500ml bottle with a nice crown on the top there. It's 4% um, ABV, so it should be nice and sessionable. Nothing much on the opening. The bottle started to... Uh, Carbonate up a bit, which we would expect. Yeah, now I can smell. Yeah, now I think I can smell that that smell, which you would think was skunk, but that is their yeast. Yeah, no, I can see that now. I can see that now. I think that's some um, um, uh, Urban Viking Dave. Uh, thanks for pointing that one out to me. Now, I'm getting, it's, it's a funny yeasty sort of. Um, yeah, it's sort of golden in colour. Sorry, I'm all over the place today. I have just been out for a pint of Buckham down the local pub just on the way home from work. So, uh, showered and changed, and I thought I'd ready for a few more. Now, yeah, golden in colour. Nice clear glass of beer. No head. A few bubbles on the top, which is just. just well, they're dead white, but it's dissipating to almost nothing. Not really getting a lot out of that apart from the yeast. Perhaps maybe very mild fruity. Maybe a little very very tiny bit of citrus on there. I can't even pinpoint what it is. Very mild, very mild on the on the on the nose. Um, steady bit of carbonation in there. I think I'm just going to dig into this. Cheers. Hmm. It's very refreshing. Um, not much carbonation in there. Very slight bit to start with. We get. A a sort of um, a biscuity flavour to it straight away, um, almost uh, like a sweet biscuit. You get a, sort of, a kind of bubblegum flavour as well to that, which is quite nice, it's quite different. It's not very many hop, there's not very much hoppage going on in that beer at all, it's not very bitter. incredibly mild. The flavours don't last that long in this beer either but I, I mean I, I picked this up from um, a little um, which if you're not from um, pardon me if you're not from Europe then um, Lidl's like a discount supermarket very good good the food in there is fantastic but um, they do a lot of Shepherd Neen um, beers and I don't know I think that was £1.19, so I mean, for £1.19, you really can't argue with that. Yeah, I mean, that's not a bad beer, that. Um, Session-wise, I think you could quite happily session that, but I think I think maybe I'd get a bit bored with it because it, there isn't that much flavour in it at all, really. Um, you get that bubble gum and that sort of bready, um, that biscuity flavour. There's not much else going on in there. I want something uh, that'll challenge me a bit more. But I wouldn't mind if that was the only beer on tap in a pub. I'd be quite happy to uh, to drink that one. Though. Um, let's read the bottle. Uh, when Nelson was killed at Travaga, his body was preserved in a cask of brandy during the long trip back to England. Legend has it that thirsty sailors snuck drinks from the brandy cask carrying Nelson's corpse. 
Ugh. This gave rise to the phrase for the illicit drinking, tapping the Admiral. Uh, sea is golden, smell is toffee, spicy and roast, and taste is brandy, sweet and rich. I suppose, yeah, you can get a bit of toffee in there. It's very, incredibly mild though, I wouldn't have picked that out without the taste notes. Incredibly mild. And brandy. I'm just getting that bubblegummy flavour. I'm not a spirits drinker, I, I, I'm not entirely sure what brandy tastes like to be honest, so um, it may well, I wouldn't have thought brandy tastes like bubblegum, but there you go. Um, yeah, not a lot else on there. The Master Brewer's Choice. Yeah, it's a good little good little bit of that. For £1.19, you can't go wrong. I, I, I think, you know, if I... I don't know whether I would buy it again because there's so many other beers out there to buy, but um, there's nothing wrong with it. If, you, if you've got a Littles near you and, you and you want a beer, and you know, that's definitely worth getting, that one. Um, yeah, well done, Shepard Neem. I think I'm going to give that... Um, for me, that's going to get... Uh, I would say a six, but I, no, I'm going to go five and a half out of ten. It's, quite, it's average. It's, it's good average. It's on the good side of average, so yeah, so five and a half out of ten for that one. Not a bad little bit of that. Um, thanks for watching. Um, love to see your comments in the comments box, and I hope you join me again soon in another review. Cheers.